Monkey D. Luffy, right? Straw Hat, I think. Straw is Hat, right? Straw Hat. Every time I talk to people who love anime or manga or those things, they always tell me there's a deeper meaning to every story. Mm -hmm. I've heard that that's one of your favorite characters. What is it about that character that resonates with you as a young man who is, like you said, just finding yourself athletically now, mm -hmm. but also I guess that has to be as a person too. It's so crazy because the anime is still get, like, bringing out episodes to this day. They got like over 1,200 episodes, right? So like for me, like that and Naruto, like you was talking about, <laughs> your favorite thing to do, <laughs> right? So like they bring it into my story so much because like as a kid coming up, like even when I was the best, I was still chosen last. Like, because I was always the outsider of the group. You know what I mean? Like, I was never the guy that hang, hung out with everybody. I was never that guy. I was really the guy that went home and watched anime, played video games. I got 20 cousins at the house. Like, we're gonna go and ride bikes up, down the street and play softball in the yard, play basketball, football. We, we have each other, right? Mm -hmm. So I was never out with my friends. You know, I never had like school friends until like I was like a little bit older, 10, 12 years old, right? So for me and Naruto, Naruto starts off his story as everybody hates him. Everybody hates him for who he is, right? He didn't do anything wrong. He was just born into it. You know what I mean? And like, that's how I felt as a kid. Like, coming up, nobody loved me. I was just good at what I did. You know what I mean? I was just a really good baseball player, so everybody had to respect that. But nobody liked me. Like, nobody wanted to be around me. Nobody wanted to really hang with me. Then, as I grew up at 12 years old, I started to really embrace myself, right? Like. I didn't care what other people said. Like, it wasn't like I wouldn't hide that I watched anime or this and stuff. Cause like when I was growing up, anime wasn't cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like I was watching anime when your parents were telling you like, hey, go to bed. Like right. you can't go use the laptop at eight years old when I was eight. You know what I mean? Like you had to go to bed to go to school the next day. So like for me, I was watch, watching up Adult Swim and they sneak an anime <laughs> on the TV. Like, you know, right. Adult Swim got yeah. anime on the TV. Yeah. So I'm yeah. watching anime at two o'clock in the morning as an eight year old, just like, locked in because like I'm feeling like I'm watching my life story and like even to this day every episode that comes out it feels even more and more and more like me like it's so crazy because now I'll go to One Piece One Piece Monkey D. Luffy he's a kid his dream was always to be the king of the pirates right but it always it's like a deeper meaning into my life my dream is always to be a hall of famer right but before he can become the king of the pirates he has to go through all these op obstacles right all these obstacles He's, he's getting new friends. His friends are trusting him as a leader and all this stuff. Like me through the minor leagues, I was the youngest on my team by four or five years every year, three, four years. But everybody still look at me as the leader. Just like Monkey D. Luffy, he's the youngest on his, on his ship, but he's the captain of the ship. You know what I mean? Everybody looks at him like, oh, stuff's about to go down. Where's Luffy? We need Luffy to save the day. That's how it was for me when I became a professional baseball player, high school, Playing any sport I played, I was always the captain. So like, even though I was the youngest, the coach always trusted me to be like, this is your team. Even when I got up to the big leagues, like we had a team captain, but when it was time to get things done, it's still like, hey Jazz, <laughs> we need right. you to step up. You know what I mean? So like, now I'm in the big leagues and now I'm starting to hone my skills in which like, now like, this is where like episode 1000 comes in, right? Episode 1000 comes in, I'm in the big leagues. They just dropped episode 1000 when I got to the big leagues, like literally that month, right? I'm watching episode 1000. I just got to the big leagues and I'm like, bro, I'm just understanding baseball, just like how this man is just understanding this life of being a pirate and how he has to move and how he has to control his teammates or his pirate crew to become the king of the pirates, right? Now we, to today, he's, he's unlocked his ability, right? His full, full potential is in today, I feel like I'm at that point. I've been in the league for five years now. I love I'm that. only 26 years old. You know what I mean? I'm still young, but now I'm, I'm at that I'm point to where I'm here. 